basically, you're gonna do the same thing with the push, the corner fill push. So the way to do this is, go ahead and copy the ones you just made without the push, copy them and paste them on the desktop, and rename the name to the push at the end. Make sure the S, the P is capitalized. Make sure it's spelled correctly. Just like that. You're gonna go ahead and open these up back with Photoshop. All you're gonna do, this, this part's really simple, is go ahead and zoom in again if you want. You're going to, it doesn't matter which one you start off with, double click over here on the layer, and then go down here over here to color overlay. As you can see, the whole color of this changed. So you're going to go over here to color overlay, make sure it's highlighted, click on the red thing, or whatever color it is as default, move all the way down to black. Change your opacity to 25. And then all you're going to do now is you're going to hold on to this thing, a little FX. You're going to push shift and you're going to hold on, grab it, and then drag it onto this. And you're going to do the same thing. Hold shift and then grab it and then throw it onto this. And now all of them have just had a little darker color. Go ahead and save these again. Make sure it's a PNG file. Take out the copy. Make sure you replace it. Okay. Save as. Make sure it's a PNG file. Take out the copy. Replace it. Okay. Save this one. Make sure it's a PNG file. Take out the copy. Replace it. Okay. So now you can go ahead and quit Photoshop. Don't save. Don't save. Don't save. Um, go ahead and drag these inside your um, folder that you've saved them inside. So just go ahead and replace the ones you have. Now you have all these new folders pictures, sorry, that are the loading sign. So you're going to go ahead and copy all of these. So just select all and then copy them. And then you're going to go to Applications, or yeah, go to back to Applications, go to the Safari icon, go back to your bag as Contents, go to Contents, go to Resources, and just paste them all inside there. This, this is why you made the backup, so that just in case you want to put it back, you have the backup. So go ahead and replace it six times, it should be. It'll ask you to type in your password. If you dragged it in, they'll ask you to authenticate. Um, I would copy it if I were you. But if, it, if you did drag it, then just go ahead and push authenticate. So now, if you open up Safari, make sure you restart it if it was already on. And you go to the website you want, for example, YouTube. As you can see, it's a nice red, reddish color. So that's how you do it. And it's a little darker whenever you put your thing over it. The white is still there after. That's just for the red. You can do this for many different things. Um, just editing the main files with Photoshop. It's a lot of cool things you can do. So uh, that's how you do that. And have fun.